You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Coolin' Out. We are back. It's Kev. And it's real. We got a, a good boy, our good friend, returning guest on the pod, Mandela. What's good, man? How you been? Uh, I've been all right, man. I mean, you know, shit is is crazy. So is it uh, the best I could be in this situation? But you know, mm-hmm. I'm sure there's people in worse situations than me. So I can't, you know. Yeah, I can't really yeah, man. complain. Complain, you know. You in Harlem, right, man? Yes, I am. How's yes. it looking out in Harlem, man? Um, I know they've been pro- protesting. Um, there's there's been protests out here, and I I believe there's something happening tomorrow. My homegirl was telling me about, mm-hmm. uh, but it's not really really too too crazy out here, mm-hmm. at least what I from what I've seen. Um, but I've also like I've been in the house quarantining still, um, mm-hmm. but also because you know I just been um. Uh, making sure that I'm, you know, cause my mother's older, so I'm just making sure that she's good. Gotcha. Um, so, but yeah, for the most part, I don't think it's, it's you know, people are still doing the same shit. They still hanging in front of the corner stores and gotcha. same shit. But um, I know, you know, definitely people are, are marching and, and, and like they're doing in Brooklyn and, and places, but nothing, there hasn't been any, um, I don't think there's no. Actually, I feel like there has been vandalism actually in Manhattan, not in Harlem. But, yeah, in Soho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they attacked that Rolex store yesterday. Good. I was like, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> They're really <laughs> revving up. Man, they got to see a. I'm gonna see a lot of niggas shining this summer. <laughs> well, I heard is is that the store where they said that they got robbed, or was that somewhere else? But apparently, they they didn't have any real Rolexes out, so everything that. The people stole was not real. That that I don't that, know. That's what I heard. I didn't I didn't do any like thorough research on it. That's not how I operate. I just see a video and I run with it. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw at least a hundred people running out that store, so I was like, eesh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um but outside of that, man, like I feel like it's just such a, a rough time. Like we were just in quarantine, like you're still in quarantine, essentially. Everyone's still somewhat in some form of quarantine. Yeah, we in the we in New York City, beloved. Yeah. Not like you. <laughs> Chill out. Yeah. I, nah, I mean, I'm 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 right outside DC now, so I'm still in quarantine. It's not much All going right. on down here right. for the moment. Um especially now, you know, with whatever the hell Trump's doing, we got a seven o'clock curfew. Um no, so there's eleven. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Cuomo blessing y'all 11. I didn't you know need that. Dam- you know how much damage can be done before 11? <laughs> I got an unofficial ban I've had since the quarantine. <laughs> yeah. I'm not out when it's dark. So. Yeah. It's also, that shit is only going to make things worse, though, because nobody in New York is listening to that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, people are listening, but the motherfuckers, that's the trouble. They're they not trying to hear that. And it's only going to be reason and cause for more police brutality. Cause mm-hmm. dudes in the hood is still gonna be outside, and mm-hmm. they're gonna be the first people that people fuck with, even if they're not doing nothing. So yeah, I think it's I think that's a terrible idea. That, you know, certain places you can't really. It's probably not the, the the greatest idea to try and give people a curfew when motherfuckers is protesting and they they're angry in the outside and you're trying to tell them mm-hmm. they're, outside, they're already fucking angry and angry at authority. So now you're gonna add more authority to it. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? I don't understand it. But I mean, I think they know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you're probably yeah. Trying to write some shit to get worse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But so, like, how how is uh even? I guess I don't even. It's such a weird time to even say like even before this, but like I guess we're still going through it. But mm-hmm. like, you've been in the house now for going on damn near three months. Yeah. How you been holding up, man? How you feel? Uh, I get out here and there, man. I'm all right. Um, I get out here and there. There's been like some things that I had to deal with, like with family. Nothing crazy, but you know, just making mm-hmm. sure that my mom's cool. But um, I've been all right actually for the most part. Like, I'm not one of those people. Like, I, I'm not working, but I'm also not one of those people and people that like didn't have a job, so I can't get unemployment and I can't mm-hmm. can't do that. So I've been okay. Um. Really, I just been 
and and I try to walk outside at least once a day. Mm-hmm. If I can, I've been working out, um, trying to get a little bit, you know, get trying my get your swole on. I see get, get my swole on. <laughs> really, just just trying to be like more healthy and lean, and and cause I I don't want to be one of these motherfuckers. I just kind of want to. <laughs> I I really don't like. I just want to be lean and strong. Um, so I've been working on that. And then, like, uh, you know, I got an album in the works, and I recorded okay. basically everything I need. Now I'm just um, figuring out the, the post-production aspect of it. Mm-hmm. So I actually went to the studio. I'm probably going to go again in the next two weeks or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, I just want to have something ready for when everything – I don't think anything's going to go back to normal again, but just because – on top of the pandemic and then also like what's happening racially, like mm-hmm. we would need a different president to be able to make, cause we need somebody that could respond accordingly. And Trump is, is mentally unstable and not well. So I don't know yeah. how, like the pandemic thing was one thing I was like, ah, we'll get over that. Mm-hmm. It's just start happening. And then I don't even know what's next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah like, this year's a wash, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's not it's not looking good. But you know, I'm still creating writing music. I do quarantine bars every Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I styles every Monday. I'm trying to be like not trying to be, I'm being more um consistent as far as creating music. And um I'm just, you know, ready to finish this next project and put it out. And the project is actually about community. It's called We the Gods. So mm-hmm. like um, is I just wrote something that I thought would be good in highlighting um, the different artistic communities that I've had the pleasure of being in, and and the people that have um, helped to to um, promote and push what I've been what I've been creating. So I wanted to create a project that was dedicated to that, and to just you know divinity and power and just all that type of shit. So that's. Um, what I'm on is a bit different than anything I've ever done, so I'm excited. Gotcha. And you, you already had this in the works prior to the the pandemic. Yeah. Well, I was working on a, another project. Actually, let me turn the light on. But I was working on a project called Bless, the Bless mm-hmm. Tape. And while I was working on the Bless Tape, I was like, I got so many songs, but some of these songs could be something else. So I was thinking about I was just gonna drop a short EP mixtape. And then mm-hmm. the pandemic happened and quarantine happened. And um, this producer I know from uh, Toronto sent me some joints. And then my homie um, Red Eyes had sent me some. And then I, I started to realize, I'm like, oh no, this is, this is, this is a, a project project, mm-hmm. you know? And so I started writing new songs and then I recorded those new songs. And then I, I realized I was like, oh, this is something completely different. So I actually kind of have two um, projects, but this is the one that I'm focusing on now. We the gods, and then hopefully later in the year, or probably next year, with everything that's happening, um, I'll probably drop the blessed tape. So that's just what I'm on right now. And then also promoting my homies, and I've been doing my own interviews on um, Instagram Live and on Facebook. Just you know, interviewing my friends that are artists that I think are really talented, and asking them about their processes and. And, and stuff like that and having community discussions with my my homies and realizing that it's you know um more than just music so a lot of shit mm-hmm. yeah to what extent has the pandemic impacted you as an artist like when the ball dropped i'm sure you had plans for this year yeah so, so how much <clears throat> have those been impacted a whole lot i mean i'm not I, you know i was in the school i was in the um middle school teaching hip-hop and i was mm-hmm. in a program doing STEM and I can't do that now um obviously so that is impacting me in that way um you see I you know I can't keep fresh (laughs) none of us can yeah none of us can (laughs) it's a rough time I'm a lumberjack now yeah Yeah. (laughs) wow (laughs) um yeah and then also just um it's impacted me positively and negatively positive in a way where I've been I've had the time to catch up on a lot of stuff and get new ideas and concepts and like, actually because I move around a lot like my father used to he's behind me 
my father, you know, was like that. And um, my brothers are always like, yo, you, you, you move around a lot. You probably need to just take a break and relax. And so the pandemic has kind of forced me to do that. And so um, it's affected me positive in that way. Um, mm-hmm. But also like also negatively in the other aspect is like, I really just want to be able to go out and see my friends again and hang out and have good times. And it doesn't seem like this is the year for it. Um, Making my eyes water. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I miss like hanging with the homies and doing real shows and actually seeing my friends and being in front of them, even though, it's it's getting warm, man. This shit is, a, you know, I always felt like the shit was gonna slow down, but then also with these, with with the protests, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it might be a really bad bad year. Yeah. So do you? But yeah, so I, go ahead, go ahead. So, but now I, that so now that you have all this time and like you're in the house, do you like find it easier to focus on creating music, like? Do you find, yeah, no? <laughs> it, depends. it depends on the day, man. Like, creative process is, is very spiritual for me. And I feel like, you know, the words are not always my own. And so a lot of times I get mm-hmm. my testers and spirits. And when they're not ready to give me something, I just be like, kind of stuck. So, like, last week I wrote some dope shit. Or even over the weekend, I think it was, I wrote some dope shit. And then, like, all of this shit happened. And I woke up today and I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't have anything for what's going on. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of, you know, found some uh, a rhyme I'd been working on that I thought was dope and, and put that up. But um, I don't know, like it hits me when it hits me. And so I've actually spent a lot of time trying to, um, doing an audio book thing here and there, not as much as I like to, watching television, taking in other forms of art actually. Um, and, you know, taking in my friend's art and doing all of that kind of shit. Um, so like, yeah, I think I might have lost the question too. I was just thinking and I, I went all the way over here. <laughs> nah, you could, I was just asking you like, do you find it easier to create music? You, yeah, yeah, you it's pretty not, much answered it. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, you never know. It's only there. Yeah. I thought it would be easier. <laughs> yeah. First, so I was killing them though. At first when it started, what? Yeah. And, and I was like, some more shit. After a while. My, my brain was like, look, man, you're overworking us, man. Yeah. Go work out, do some other shit, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I think a part of it has to come from, like, you know, being out, creating new experiences, things of that nature. And given that, for the most part, our daily routines are uh, monotonous right now and pretty mundane, it's like, I'm sure that kind of, like, hinders you creati- creatively. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't get to go out and have um different experiences all of my experiences are in the house so (laughs) yeah also um and i hurt my heart yeah i'm I'm tired of being in the house so do you have a setup in the house for your music huh you have a setup in the house so you can record your music Uh, uh, i need to get that all my homies like yo man stop it yeah (laughs) (laughs) so you really been out there with the pen and the pad uh, I'll be typing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be typing my raps. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I got all my shit on my phone, and um, I I've done one studio session since um, since the the pandemic because uh, homie and mine has a setup that's very like I don't we don't have to be in the same room. Mm. So um, I'm probably I'm gonna do another one soon, and my my goal is to actually start releasing some music that's not for the project soon mm-hmm. so I can get it mixed and mastered. So mm-hmm. um, I'll be putting out some shit soon. soon. But it's also like with all, everything going on with the protests and shit, sometimes I even feel like, should I be putting this out? Like, cause this is just a fun song. Like, should I put this Yeah. Out? Be like, but then some people yeah, like, that's tricky. we want the art anyway. Like give us the art, like fuck that. So yeah, it's tricky. Yeah. It's really hard to read the room. Like yesterday, um, day before yesterday, I think I posted some of my story about like we did a pod last week about like Braun versus Jordan. And when I posted it yesterday, I immediately was like, ah, I don't know if I should put this up right now. Yeah. Like people looking at it like, yo, like you and insens- you insensitive prick. Like you don't see what's going on. You talking about yeah. LeBron James versus Michael Jordan? And it's just like you know, it's, it's a very like tough time and space to to maneuver right now. You mm. just 
Walk. Everyone's walking on eggshells, essentially. No, you're 100 percent correct. It's yeah. Like, yeah, I was having a, a conversation with a friend of mine that's also a rapper. He's dope. Um, and we were having this conversation. We were like, you know, to a point, sometimes it even feels weird to even promote your shit, like, you know. Um, but at the same time, there's also the other aspect of it is like art has also been always been instrumental to movements. And mm -hmm. so to just stop the art is kind of counterproductive. Like you were given a gift and mm -hmm. art is a powerful spiritual thing. So just like you still got to do the art. And I just I think I just have to find a headspace and I haven't found it yet. Um, gotcha. Yeah. And to follow up on that, since, you know, like because I, I want to I'm kind of catch you know catching off guard here maybe but you're talking about like you know you got to have you got to keep giving people the art and that thing what do you think about this blackout the music industry i don't know who came up with this but it's been like word going on in that you know black artists and producers should like do a blackout on the music industry tomorrow like essentially i guess not creating any music not putting out any new music it's i, I don't really get the gist of it have you heard anything about that no i haven't actually oh uh, Either. Yeah, I've seen people on both sides of the aisles, like well, somebody essentially like something like just, that, like blackout something. But I mm -hmm. don't know what about that. Yeah, like a just stop supporting the music industry tomorrow. And I, like my thought was just essentially like it just didn't make any sense. Like yeah, like, you we're essentially hurting ourselves. Like we have so many like black talented artists, you mm -hmm. know, that make money, you know, <laughs> by showcasing their art. I think what it is, a lot of it is probably going to come down to content, though. I don't mm -hmm. think it should just be like, don't support anything, but don't support that the shit when motherfuckers ain't talking about nothing. And unfortunately, right. as much as I like it, it's like a lot of these cats, they don't really have anything to say, you know? Mm -hmm. Some of them do. If you listen, some of them do. Like, I fuck with, I like Lil Baby. I think that Lil Baby is actually an interesting dude, and he's got some good um, points of views and his, his music and shit but a lot of this stuff is like it's it's really gonna come down to the content because it's like you really gonna put out a song about you catching the ops yeah yeah <laughs> in a gang. pandemic <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying or, or fucking <laughs> motherfuckers marching outside and i'm also yeah. starting to like i saw some shit on my facebook that fucking disgusted me so I, I got I know well one thing disgusted me one thing made me proud like I got a I know a young homie he's an artist he's really dope and he's you know he's a gang member but he's out there like really like in the front lines and 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 he's calling his people out like yo y'all y'all want to do this and y'all think it's all cool when it's time to do this and do that but when your people need you then y'all y'all motherfuckers is quiet and I seen mm -hmm. some other shit where who was like. Um, he said some shit about, oh, so just because I'm a gang member, I'm supposed to go out in the streets with the, the shit like, like that. And then somebody was like, well, you you know, you shoot at the ops all the time. And he was like, well, the ops don't shoot back. The police do or some shit like that. And it was like, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm confused. Like, what, are you tough or not tough? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> a lot of like what are you, what are you what are you about like you yeah. know um so like it's 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 i think in, in that space one like i said all movements have been aided by music in, in, mm -hmm. in many ways you know what i mean like musicians creating the backdrop for those movements and so that's why also i feel like you know i gotta get the headspace to be able to um to really to to really create something that I think captures the time mm -hmm. um, even more. So there's that, but I don't think it makes sense to just be like, oh, don't nobody put out anything. Like that's that yeah. doesn't make sense. Um protesters need music. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. protesters yeah. have music and you know, I just think um it's gonna be hard for you to put out that bullshit when you're not you don't got nothing to say. Like it's gonna be hard for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. People are out here protesting. It's tough to listen to a party record right now. Yeah, all like, and, I'm and the majority of us closed. haven't left the yeah, haven't left the <laughs> house in almost three months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like how you yeah. not gonna hit the same on the couch. No, it's definitely not. Mm. Yeah. It, it, how far back has the pandemic pushed your projects? 
Um, they, they actually pushed it up. I mean, I wanted to put out something in the summer. And then I was like, oh, this shit will stop probably in July. I don't know mm-hmm. if that's true anymore. That's what I thought. Yeah, I was once shared that optimism. I don't know anymore. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know anything. I had a May dream, but now I think this, we might lose the whole summer. This is the epitome yeah. of take it one day at a time right now. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the pandemic was one thing because I was like, you know, you were talking to my older brother. He was like, Yo, when it gets hot, they'll ease up. But now with the pandemic and then, you know, uh, the protests and, I don't know, cause it's this is like really unprecedented. Like they they're doing this shit everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and they getting busy. It's not like they just I don't know they getting busy. It's just getting crazy everywhere. So um, mm-hmm. that kind of puts a damp on you know all of that other shit. So yeah, uh, and y'all now we're y'all, me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, y'all were supposed to go into phase one this Friday. I wouldn't be shocked if that got pushed back. It was, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> well, Monday. No, was it was the 8th. Yeah, Monday. You're supposed to go into phase one Monday. So next Monday. But I don't, think, I don't know. I wouldn't be shocked if that got pushed back, honestly. Yeah, I wouldn't be. It's been how crazy Cascade and I. And I hear a lot of shit in Brooklyn, you know. Yeah, and they're Barclays. Yeah, they out there. So They're giving it up, yeah. This is everywhere though. Minnesota, Chicago, LA, like Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, it's wild. People. I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever seen pro like like even like you know like Ferguson, and then in in the Baltimore. Like it was like for the most part like those things those riots were like contained to those cities. Cities, yeah. That's the thing. It's like this is all, this is like all over America. Like every major city is like being affected in some kind of way by some mm-hmm. riot, you know, it's like, this is, this is yeah. uh, definitely a unique time. Yeah, it's different. I, I don't, I mean, I'm sure somebody would be like, oh, in 1620. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 so like, like I don't, you know, in my lifetime. In my life, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands down. Yeah, Even hands in my parents' lifetime, I don't. I, don't. I mean, if, you know, civil rights. I think was pretty, was 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 happening in a lot of places too, though. Mm-hmm. I would say maybe that time, but um, yeah, it's 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 getting in, intense, and I think the biggest issue is that we don't have the proper leadership to address it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like he doesn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. So, you know what to do. And yeah. Biden has just been like, if you if you out here acting crazy, you ain't black. That's what he was saying. No. <laughs> Biden forgets his name mid sentence. That man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's who. And that's that's our, that's our savior. Like, it's yes, crazy. The only hope. The last hope. Yeah. Nigga with dementia. <laughs> 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 oh wow. my god. Wow. Yeah. Uh, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yeah. Shit is nuts. But now he might have a point after the way Trump been acting lately. Okay. Yeah. It's He's like... taking us for granted, but I can't even blame him. What's the, <laughs> what's, the... what's the alternative? Yeah. Like... <laughs> Yo, he really is taking us for granted. Jesus. This is a sad time. Yeah. We got to laugh through this shit. Mm-mm-mm. We're gonna be talking about this when years to come. Like this might have been the worst year in America history. Oh, facts. This so, like, I think this is definitely gonna be the worst I mean, year during our lifetime. Not the worst. There was a great depression, but still, you know, for our lifetime, it'll probably be the worst. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Mm. It's 29th year, it's hands down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for me, I work. truly like what what happened beginning of the year. Kobe died, and then after that, it was just like you know just. Yeah. Just a little shit happening, 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 mm-hmm. happening. And then boom, quarantine. Boom. George Floyd. And it's like, damn, well, sorry, Brianna Taylor, George Floyd, uh, I'm missing out somebody, uh it's like five people that got murdered by the police that at least that were like, you know. Ahmed Aubrey. Yeah, Aubrey. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm at Aubrey. Yep. So like, you know what I'm saying? How can I forget about that? This dude got murdered jogging. Yeah. 
motherfuckers hop out they hop out they pickup truck like like they the police. But Crazy. That's, that's the thing. It's like it reminds me of that that um Trayvon Martin shit. It's like yep. that shit doesn't make any sense to this day. This nigga, that motherfucker Zimmerman is clearly a psychopath, a, a social mm -hmm. psychopath, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he really got away with that. Like, yo, he's clearly not right in the head. Like, you see how he operates, you know, mm -hmm. and that's you know, motherfuckers is just people is done with that. We done with that shit, man. Yeah. My man, like the sense of entitlement that you must have in your mind though, mm -hmm. to be like I'm a citizen, but I'm gonna get out, and because I think that you committed a crime, I'm gonna per personally chase you and attack you. Yeah. It's insane. Like these mm -hmm. thoughts never come across my mind ever. In that one, no. Like ever. If anything, I'm like, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> like, let mind my business. Like, no, I never, yeah. <laughs> I'm never like, yeah. Let me, let me take it, you know, upon myself. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's no insane. citizens arrest here. No, I'm never, never minding my business. <laughs> I know that white chick from the park is like, Phew. Oh, uh, Karen, what up? her name's not Karen. Now they got me calling her Karen. Damn. That's not her real name. I think it was oh, Emmy like Cooper. Yeah. yeah. Damn, yeah. That story got swept under the rug quick. What about me? Yeah. That story got swept under the rug quick. I forgot. That happened the same day as George Floyd. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, what, that's what it was. That George Floyd shit is egregious, man. That shit doesn't yeah. make sense. It's crazy like how that. You, that. How you ain't noticed that? How you just huh? got how you just got your knee on on homie's neck like that? Like oh, shit. he know. He, he heard him talk. He was he he first he screamed out for his mom. He said, "I can't breathe. I'm about mm -hmm. to die." He told him, "Relax." That's what the cop told him. Relax. Mm -hmm. Nuts. <sighs> yeah, try my best I, not to watch that video, but mm. no, nah, I don't ever wanna. I don't even wanna see the image. I don't, I don't want to see that. I saw the image scrolling down my timeline. Yeah. I haven't watched the whole video. You don't want to watch the whole video. Like, I sat there subjecting myself to it the whole nine minutes. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like, uh, cool. My spirit's like already in shambles. I'm cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> uh, he let it be known multiple times that he couldn't breathe, that he was about to die. He called out for his mom. His mom died two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. Rough times. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, the roughest. Really yeah, not uh, not sure how to transition from that. Uh, um, I'll transition. Go back to the music. Uh, yeah, I guess. I speaking get of, too, get too deep. How was it when you were shooting the the Septicons video? Cause I've seen you put up a couple clips, and you look like you and your friends were having a lot of fun. Oh, that was last year when things. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh okay. We shot the video last year, last um, sometime it was in the summer. I think it was like July. Um, so that's like a we shot it a long time ago. We just didn't get to finish it until April. We put it out in April. It was getting really good responses, and then um, you know, shit started happening. So. Yeah. Good old days. Is that yeah. the last video you shot? Yeah, that's the last video I shot. Yeah. I was actually planning to shoot a new another video for a song called Home Videos also Bury Me in Gold Volume Two. But mm -hmm. then it happened. So I was like, Yeah, I gotta I'm gonna have to hold on that. Um but yeah, then I that the Decepticons video shoot was hilarious and really fun. It was two days. The first day was in Harlem and then we went to Brooklyn the second day. And so, yeah, we had a good time. That was a really great shoot. Shout out to Ian Senko who shot it and um, directed it, edited it. Um, everybody who pulled up and showed out it was a really good, really good shoot. And um, people really fuck with the music video, so I'm excited about it. So, yeah. Gotcha. Can't wait to do it again. One day. So what's, one day. <laughs> so, like, what's the, like, so what's... Yeah, damn. I don't even know. Like, I mean, I guess you mentioned not like, you know, that teetering between like drop and music, but like, have you like decided on like any plan, like, like a definitive like date, like when you're going to release the first single off this new project or anything like that? Um, so I want to, I wanted to release everything in either August or September. Mm -hmm. As far as a single, 
I don't really know because of what's happening. I didn't really think about it. I don't even know what the single is. I think once it's mixed and probably even before mastering, once it's mixed, I have a better idea of what I want to leave with because there's a lot of songs on there I really like. Mm-hmm. Two ones in particular, in particular, I say in particular, in particular <laughs> um, is a song called Kente Bandana and then there's a song called uh, Chakra Zulu. So, okay. um I really like those. I like all of them. And then I have a love song called Fours, and I feel like I should do something for that. So, I, you know, I have a lot of things. I'm still waiting on um, verses from certain people for for um, for certain records. So that's like all my shit is done. All my recording is basically done is right now with um, post-production. Um, but, yeah, I would, I would like to – we'll see what July looks like, you know. If anything changes by July, we'll see. But – I would like to 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 put out something to at least drop a single in July, but I might mm-hmm. just end up just dropping songs that are not related to the project because I do want to put out music. I just yeah. have released an old song that um is very connected to what we're going through right now called Mediba. It's from when I was doing this uh, journey called the Zoo Styles, and um and so I just decided I'm I'm gonna put this on streaming, and so I put it out. It's called Mediba, and uh, I think it's a it's an important song. So, but I mean, it's something recent you put out. It's an old song that I just oh, throw on stream. Let me yeah. Make sure I check that out. Yeah. So, you know, I'm luckily like my name is not luckily, but my name is so specific now, Mandela Esquia. That's very easy to find. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that's what I'll be telling people. I just just search Mandaleski. I'm gonna come up two L's. Oh yeah, Madiba. See it. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I don't know, man. Everything's up in the air. But I, but I, what I, I think what I have to do and what I'm gonna do is just like just focus on finishing it as soon as possible, so it's ready when it needs to be ready. Because it might be a mm-hmm. situation where I ain't, I'm not going to know until like a week or three weeks before I'm ready to drop it. So gotcha. it, it might be one of those gotcha. when things start because I, I don't want to drop it now. I want to wait till um wait till I know what's happening next, you know, because right now it's everything's up in the air. Gotcha. No, I've seen you've been like getting uh pretty creative in the quarantine. You, you know, we spoke about this earlier a little uh like the quarantine bars every Monday. Like, kind of, you know, tell us, like, how that came about. Like, was that your concept? Like, who would you, like, bounce that off of? Like, how that come about? Um, originally, before quarantine, I was doing breakfast bars. So, mm-hmm. I was, um, it was an idea my brother came up with. It was like, oh, you should do breakfast bars. And I was like, oh, okay. And so, I started doing that. I did it, like, maybe two or three times, and I wasn't consistent. And I was like, I'm going to do this every Monday. And I would do it in a way where I was just reading the rhymes. I just go find a random rhyme and rap it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then once the quarantine happened, I was like, nobody's, because I would do it at 7 a.m. I'm like, nobody's going to be waking up. I mean, the essential workers maybe, but a lot of people wouldn't mm-hmm. wake up that early. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to change it to quarantine bars and I'll move the time up to like 12 or 1. And yeah. so um, that's where it came from. And I just, to be honest, I just like feel like it's important to be consistent with me, like developing routines. Mm-hmm. So that's an important routine to make sure I do that every crucial. Morning. So that's that. I might take a break next Monday, but we'll see. Um, but that's yeah. I just I, you know, I, I remember sitting in a, a label um, meeting with a friend while well, I was visiting in front of the label. And we were talking about um, music. And she was like, you know, you should probably rap on your on your Instagram more because you're a really talented rapper and you should show that more. Because I didn't never used to really rap on my Instagram. And so I guess that sat in the back of my head until I was just ready to do it. And then I just started doing it and, you know, picking like, like different types of beats that people haven't really heard me on before and then also, like picking those, uh, like Griselda type beat shit like that, because I feel like it'll prompt people for what I'm doing next. Mm-hmm. Um, 
because it's not just one producer anymore. So I got different styles and different things I'm doing. And this one is a lot more, I feel like boom bappy and a little bit more um, just like experimental for what, it's like the shit I was doing way back in the day, like 10 years ago, but like mm-hmm. on steroids because now I have a better idea of who I am and what I want to say. And I can inject more of my personality into my music. So the music is 10 times better. So. Um, yeah. Is there pressure with the bars? Because you mentioned you might take next week off. Um, so this is where I'm going to get on my cocky shit. All my raps are really good. Even when I look at the raps and I'm like, huh? <laughs> they're usually good. But um, lately it's just kind of just been like, the only pressure I kind of felt was maybe today because I was like, should I be rapping specifically about what's going on or should I just be mm-hmm. doing what I'm doing? But for the most part, not necessarily. Um, if anything, maybe just to memorize them. But I tend to find old raps. And the thing with the bars is like, it's not like people are going to be saving them and, and be like, oh, shit. I got this whole compilation of Mandela and Skid Rhymes. They're going to listen to it a couple of times, be like, oh, this shit was fire. And I'll probably reuse them at a, in, a, in a song, maybe. <laughs> yeah. A year from now and shit like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just basically just going through a bunch of rounds. But I do, sometimes I, I do be like, damn, what am I going to rap tomorrow? Because the days that go by so fast, the next thing I know it's Monday again. I'm like, shit, what am I going to rap so that's, yeah, that's it, but not necessarily, you know. I feel more pressure on, in, 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 in other realms, so. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So wait, are these like bars you gotta write every week or is this just like you going through, you know, your catalog of things? A lot of times I go through my catalog. Sometimes I write something new. It depends on how I'm feeling that week. Gotcha. So, sometimes okay. I still Okay. I was gonna say that's a shit ton of pressure. I have to write something every Monday. I try to write at least one thing every week, but it doesn't have to be um, uh, quarantine bars related. Gotcha. But yeah, it, it, it can be um, a lot. But luckily, I have like a thousand rhymes in my phone, so I just sometimes I just go through and find shit. That does yeah. help. <laughs> thousand shit. At least a thousand. God damn. Some old, some maneuver. <sighs> well, I think I speak for the people. We're excited to hear your new stuff. And, you know, whenever all this shit dies down, looking forward to hearing your new music, man. Yeah, man. Thank yeah. you. You've always been dope to us. So. Seriously. So we keep having you back on, man. We'll definitely uh, have you back on Thank whenever you, you know, that, that project drops and, you know, yeah, no, definitely. I'll, I'll be reaching out when it when it when it drops. Thank y'all for always reaching out. You know, this was good. Of course, I mean, man. <laughs> yeah, I needed to see faces. Needed some human interaction. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we <laughs> helping each other, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, man, let the people know where they can find your your IG, find all your you know, go through the catalog, your music, all that stuff. All right. So, um, on IG, it's at Black Zeus, that's B L A C K Z E U S X. Um, click the link in the bio. You can find the Decepticons video, which is a phenomenal video. You should watch mm-hmm. it. Um, and you can also search me on streaming platforms at um, just search Mandela Eskia. That's with two L's. So M A N D E L L A E S K I A. And my page will show up. Um, if you're searching on YouTube, I'll show up too. You can search Bury Me in Gold Volume 1, Bury Me in Gold Volume 2 as well under um, Mandela Skia. So that's where you find all my stuff. And blackzoos.com, that's my website. So it's all the same way as the Instagram, B-L-A-C-K-Z-E-U-S-X. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Gotcha, man. Cool. Again, we appreciate <laughs> you, man. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> You're going to have to add some sound effects on the back end. <laughs> oh, man. But now nah, we appreciate you, man. As always, people, thank you for the love, the support. Thank you for 
I said that already. Damn, now I'm losing my mind. Uh, <laughs> we all are. Don't sure, worry about yeah, it. Yeah, man. Make sure you guys rate, <laughs> share, subscribe. Uh, we're going to have the full length uh, episodes, full length video clips of this episode and all episodes on YouTube, IGTV. Find the audio for this podcast on Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Acast, SoundCloud, everywhere that podcasts are available, all streaming platforms. We are there. Until next time, it's cooling out. Stay cool. You cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, we're cooling out. You cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, we're cooling out.